Blackburn Rovers were once an established, title-winning Premier League club. But oh, how times have changed. Ever since this chap and this sleazy entourage got their grubby little fingers into the inner workings of my club, we have fallen so far from returning to the top of the English game. Many managers have come and gone. Some liked, some hated. Until Tony, who had a dream to build his own football team. Now Rovers have turned a massive corner and after a season in the third tier, we have bounced back to the championship. Now together, we need to make this final step and try to return to the holy grail of English football, the Premier League. Join me in this journey via FIFA 19. Hello folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my FIFA 19 career mode with Blackburn Rovers and you have joined me live in uh, transfer negotiations for a midfielder by the name of Jota. Now it could be the one formerly of Birmingham, it could be the one formerly of uh, Wolves, but uh, he's 27 years old, so in a midfielder. Um, I've cut straight to the chase, he had a minimum release clause and I'm going to pay it. Uh, I think it's about five million. He's currently on eight grand, so we're a week. Obviously, you're coming at the crucial point now where I try to get... Um, uh, we're going to try and counter that and put a three-year deal down. Because he's still... Yeah. Discard release. But yeah, I always get it wrong, the old wages. But at least we know he's on eight grand. So if we offer him... 16. Signing on bonus of 160. Let's see what that does. Let's double his wages. See, I, 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 I don't know. Come on, Jota. Get back in here. Get back in here. Come on, Jota. Please. So I blew that one out. Who needs Jota anyway? Now we're going to up the uh, up the ante a little bit and go for Luke Freeman. Is that what his name is? Luke Freeman, 6 million. I've got, I've got 11 million in the bank. Let's see if we can check a player at him first. A striker. Maybe we can give him uh, Mr. Spanish Guy. How about Spanish Guy? You want Spanish Guy? Yeah, that's fine. You can have Adabas. Get him off my books. Um, what's going on here? Value. Current value. Proposed transfer fee. Let's get that down to 4.5, eh? Let's give that a go. We'll take it. Yep. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. What's he on a week? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll take Freeman. Freeman for the Spanish dude. That's not a bad bit of business. What's he on wages, though? That's, that's, that's the worry. He's in the championship. We're in the Premier League. He's on 10 grand. So I'm going to double up. Imagine Freeman, Madsen, Dak. Flipping heck. Three year deal. Yeah, that's good. Discard release. That's good. Wage. Let's go. 25. Signing on bonus. Thirty-five. So we see we we've hit a benchmark. We'll go for thirty now, and we'll kind of uh, hopefully meet in the middle. It's, we're we're somewhere. We're we're gonna get them. We'll we'll get them. It's just a matter of tying, crossing the T's and dotting the I's and all that. Whatever they say. Yeah, that's right. That's a big pickup, boys and girls. This guy can score goals. So yeah, uh, Spanish guy gone, and uh, yeah, hang on a minute. I want to do that. So the transfer window is about to close. So Freeman comes in and uh, Adibas goes home because we've got two good strikers now. Been chasing Freeman since the get-go. Um, so he's now with us. We've got a couple of other bits of emails to deal with. And as expected, Rodwell has gone. Hence why we brought in uh, Freeman. So got rid of Adibas, got rid of, um, you know, Rodwell. And I think it's definitely an upgrade. 28-year-old attacking midfielder. Him and Madsen maybe in the middle there. 
that could be deadly in the Premier League. So someone's coming in for the world's most expensive right back. That is Douglas. Obviously, he's on 30 grand a week. So if I get rid of him... Um, hang on a minute. Back a second. No. Yeah, let's just go for it. In fact, let's go 2 million. Let's see if we can get 2 million out of him. He's a good right back. He is a good right back. Counter. Well, I, I'm Mr. Hard Bargain Man. You're going to have to cut to the chase and give me something what I want. Let's do it. How about that? 1.76. Yeah, okay. They're going to take the 1.76. So we'll give that. We'll get nearly 2 million in the bank for that one. We're going to be a little shy in um, right back. So we'll probably have to scramble for one of them. Go for a loan for him so that we're not, we're not paying through the nose for a player that we don't know what's... what's and then we'll scout. Okay, so that's that done and dusted. Aaron's is on the books. So that should wrap up our transfer dealings, unless something crazy comes in. Douglas, the world's most expensive right back, has gone. There's our transfer dealings, just in case you want to check it out. And a whole crap load of stuff. Emails have come through here. Let's take a look at it. So that is the transfer window taken care of. But now we switch back to the Premier League. And it's up against us against Watford at Vicarage Road. Let's take it to them. See what we got, boys. Okay, boys and girls. There's actually quite a tasty looking sign here. Raya in goal. Williams, Lenham, Bauer, Nyambe, Al Brighton, Freeman, Madsen, Mohamed, Dak and Siahus. Not really any defensive midfielders in there. So we're going to take it to them. And maybe just maybe score a, lot, a load of goals. Or we'll get beat. Okay, boys and girls, here we are at Vicarage Road, the venue for what could be an absolutely belting game for Rovers, or it could be a nightmare. Because you never know what you get with Watford. They're one of them sides that, you know, they can beat anybody in front of them, or they can get absolutely tonked by anybody. So, hopefully we can do the tonking and, uh, and get another win as we continue, hopefully to continue, our impressive start to life in the Premier League. Now, remember, we have lost um, Douglas, the world's most expensive right back. He's gone. The pasture's new. See who's, remember, in his Premier League debut, he scored those two goals in the game against Leeds in the Cup. He's at Dubai this time. It's not a bad ball. Someone can get on it. Madsen to Mohamed. Come on, son. Turns and shoots. What a goal, boys and girls. It is Daxter once again. What a cross. What a pinpoint cross. We've missed that kind of stuff. Look at Daxter celebrating with the fans. It's going nuts. But look at this. Pace by Mohamed on the right-hand side. He's proving to be a shrewd pickup as uh, Mohamed. And that has gone rifled in the top bins. And we are singing, boys and girls, stinging our way to the top of the, well, I would say the top of the Premier League, but we're, we're, we're competing. We're not just making up the numbers, we're competing. Scramble back there now, Rovers trying to get a second goal now, Freeman. Maybe I've been playing too cautiously with my defensive midfielders. That uh, slipped in now, Siahus. Oh, he, he keeps it going, Dak turns and shoots. Ooh, that was going in the back of the net. Sure, if he just a fraction a bit more to the left-hand side, and it could have went in. 25 minutes gone. Rovers look good right now. Look good. See who loses it. He's not really having the greatest Premier League game. See who's but here can Watford now with Sturridge of all people. Williams threads it in the middle. Freeman. What's that for a ball? Daxter has to come back. Ah, that was bad. That was bad. Daxter's trying to try to recover. Now, if you're playing Madsen and you're playing Freeman, you've got to do your defensive duties in these in this the midfield roles. 
try to keep in play there by Nyambi, but no joy. Here come Watford now with Barros over the top. Now Daniel Sturridge. Oh, what a good effort. They really had a go in the quest for this equaliser. Still 1 0, but edging closer to the end of the first half, though. Williams cancels that out. And that is half time, boys and girls. Half time, 1 0 at the break. Second half gets underway, and it is Rovers kick it off. Referee blows, and we're off for the second half. That's a nice ball for Mohamed. Oh, cheeky, Madsen turns. That is, oh, what the heck? I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. It was a delicious ball by Madsen. Mohamed, look at him doing his defending. Bauer. As Watford try to look for an equaliser. Turns and shoot, big save. Big save by Raya. Taking a break. No. Down. Down. Booted by Raya. We're hearing news. In fact, Lenin heard to news Freeman. Have got their man. He's having a lot of the ball on his debut, which is good to see. It's what we want to see. But here we go. Here comes Flippin Watford. They got a load of men forward. And that goes agonisingly wide. Madsen, look at him doing his defensive duties. And that is bundled out for a throw for Rovers. Ayambe. Mohamed loses it though. Maybe quick and he may be able to cross, but he's not the greatest on the ball. And that is terrible by Raya. Gets it straight back to Watford. This game's not done and dusted yet, I don't think. I think there is a sting in a tail for somebody. Hopefully for Watford. That's a good effort. Two, two quick fire efforts. And Mohamed is coming off for Armstrong. I think he definitely was one of my weakest links um, so far. But anyway, Rovers continue now to try and get a second goal. Daxter. This time picks it out. Armstrong, right? So he needs some game time. Armstrong. Look at that ball. That's delicious. Madsen. If he crosses, who's in there? They're smashing on home. Nobody. Nobody's there. Held up by Freeman. Oh, he can't. He just tries to turn. He could not turn elegantly. And this is a scramble. His Surma for Watford. Pulls it back. Keeps it going. But Madsen is back doing some defensive duties. As well, and there we go. Look at this by Rovers. This is what we want to see. Al Brighton to Madsen picks out Armstrong, who's got crazy loads of space, but he's been forced wide. Cuts back inside. It's a cross in. Oh, the keeper comes out. Oh, what? And he can't pick up the ball. What's going on? Sturridge now for Watford. He just hoofs that down there to chip for let Sermon to chase. Lennon's on him though. Crosses to somebody, and that was a bit cheeky. Lenhan tries to get rid. Eventually comes in the arms of David Raya, who boots that towards Armstrong. Nyambe. Armstrong will try and chase this. He keeps it going. For Daxter. Oh, he's hot. He's hacked down. Come on, guys. What is that all about? Armstrong keeps it going. Really. Flipping Nyambi just bundles it into him. Nobody can get a good pass in. Is there a sting to the tail for somebody? Look at this. Bodies everywhere. But it does not really matter, boys and girls. Rovers, pick up the big W. And they are looking good in the Premier League, guys. We're looking good. Just a quick look at the table and look at that, guys. We are flying high second in the table. Absolutely bonkers. In the next episode, because we're going to have to cut this one short, obviously, with the transfer dealings at the start of this episode. We're going to do the one game. But in the next one, we're going to take on Crystal Palace. And it'll be a double bubble. And we will be taking on Arsenal. Woo, fruity. So if you enjoyed this video, folks, give it a good old thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the old subscribe button to keep your bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, FIFA 19 related, world football related, we're going to all here under one roof. So until I see you again, which will be when? Tomorrow. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep your bang up to date. 
all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>